Hello everyone and welcome back to the App Stack Engineer. I am Naseeb. So this is the second video of our Expo React Native series. In the previous video, we have set up the Expo project. So now in this video, we will be explored so the complete Expo folder structure and understanding each folder and file does so you know exactly where to write the code. And once you create a new project using the command npx create expo app so you will get a folder structure that looks something like this so let's start with the first folder that's the expo dot so this folder is belongs to the expo tools and the second one we have a vx code so this folder is vs code setup like we have an extension how many extension you are using that will be so that that will be show and your setting dot js file third one is the app this is the heart of your expo project if you are using the expo route, this folder content your all screen and route. Each file here automatically become a route in your apps. For example, let me show you inside the folder also. You can see we have a layout. The layout page is belongs to the tab screens. Like we have two tabs in this and we import the two tabs. Like the first one we have import the index. So the index is a home screen. This is our home screen. If I remove these things, look, let me show you. You can see we do not see anything because we just remove the let me reload the app again content now you can see we do not have anything because the index screen is our home screen again so now we can see we have a welcome screen and the explore screen the second one the explore screen the expo screen is this this one is the explore screen and layout is mean the tabs this is the tab route and we have a two screen inside that if you want to create another screen so you can also create it let me close the tab also so now we have a layout so this is the screens we have like a, without the tab screen you want to create any screen so you can uh, import the screen in here so this is the model we have so i will come to the app screen with the full explanation just wait for the end of the video now we have an asset screen in the asset screen we have an image we have importing and using that image or in the asset screens so this is the component screen we are using the component so we create in this like we have create the external line hello you can see a theme text so these are the component by default the expo community provide the components also to us the constant folder the constant folder we save the file that cannot be changed like a color we do not change any time the colors but that is the static all the time then we have a hook screen if you have a custom hooks and you create any custom hooks put it there and we have a ios folder so when you run your app in ios that will be created automatically and then we have a node file that belongs to the uh, node.js or node file script this is our script this is the uh, nothing we do not have anything to do with the script and then uh, this is the get ignore get ignore is for the get if you do not want to save anything because we do not save the uh, node modules you can see expo folder we do not save expo you can see these are the files we do not save it in the uh, github so then we have a app.json app.json this file contains all the configuration of your expo project it defines your name slug version icon splash screen and permission and so on whenever you build your app expo use this file to understand how the configuration is this is our app name this is the version and we have a schema icons this is our icon you can see the colors we have and this is the icon we have in ios and a web this is our splash screen you can see we can change the, our splash screen from here and then we have a this is our configuration so we do not touch anything expo when you start your react native project with the npm or npx that will be created automatically and this is the package.json this file all the dependency and script your project it tells you the expo what library you are using and managing them through the npm or yarn so then we have a readme readme.md so this is for the uh instruction of the app the last one we have a ts configuration so now i'm going to the app screen and create a, another bottom tabs also and also we are going to create a one more screen and navigate to that screen so for that just come here and in the first i'm going to create a one screen and a tabs so just uh, click on the new file and just type the profile screen.tsx and just like this 
So now you see, you can see we just create the one profile screen also. And let me uh, apply anything else. Let me uh, like uh, apply the styling also and padding 40. And we have a screen and let me align item center. Let me add it align item center and also justify content center. And we need to add the flex one also. We just create a one file with the name of the profile screen so that automatically comes to the bottom tabs. If you want to change the icon and other things so for that, just go to the layout. And this is our layout. You can see just copy this and just paste it. And let me show you and just change the screen name. Let me copy the screen name. Come and also change the name also. You can see we just create the other screen and also we have changed the icon. And also you can change the icon from here also. This is the symbol. This is the icon symbol. You can change it. Also you can change the color also like this. You can see the icon color. I just change it. So like this we can add the screen in the bottom tab. So now I'm going to show you how can you create another screen. So if you are going to create any screen in the tabs. So that will be created automatically in the tabs. Let me show you like this. If you create the edit.tsx. So you can see. Let me create the file also. That, that will become automatically in your edit screen also. You can see that, that, that come in automatically in your edit screen. So let me delete it. So that will be gone automatically and from your tab screen. You can see just uh, this gone. So now I'm going to show you how can you create a screen that should be outside from your bottom tabs. So for that, just close your bottom tab folder. And here, just create a one folder in the first app screen with the name of the screens because we are going to create a multiple screen so we need to create a one folder in that screen so that should be a edit edit profile screen dot tsx you can see we just create one screen with the edit profile tsx so also we have a layout in the tab screen we have a layout file so that file is belongs to the tab and from the outside of the tab screen we have also a layout so that belongs to the that belongs to your stack navigation so that's and just copy the file and just edit profile just copy and without adding the profile screen without adding the edit profile screen we can also navigate to the our profile screen so let me show you that this is my profile screen you can see and just uh, we have a on press let me show you first just type the route for so import from the route expo route dot push and like this and just uh, we have a like this if i click to the profile screen so i will navigate from the profiles to, to the edit profile screen like this you can see this is our edit profile screen you can see so you can see we have a header also by default. So for that, just go to the your layout. So this is our layout and just uncomment this. And we have a model. Let me remove this. So we need to copy the path also. And we have a screens. Inside the screen, we have an edit screen. Let me copy this and come. And we need to hide the option. We need to let me remove this and this show just type the header just type the false so if i click you can see so you can see we just hide the header also so like this, we can use the React Native Expo route and also we can add the new screen and also we can add the bottom tabs also. In the next video, we are going to explore the other thing about the React Native Expo. See you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.